What is a cell mod? Is it different from an imid? Very recently, there's been a new class of drugs that, is, that are called cell mod agents or cerebral modulator agents um, that are sort of spin-off class of the imids and that have a slight difference in, in structure that allows them to bind more tightly to the target, which is called cerebron, and have their effect on the myeloma cell. Cell modulators is a new uh, drugs that are in the research arena. It not, did not you know, get FDA approval yet. This class of drugs seems to be acting very similar to the immune modulators drugs and seem to be uh, targeting that you know, uh, kind of population or you know, that, that class of drugs. I do see cell modulators, and if they pass clinical trials uh, and show us good results, they will replace immune modulators. Iberdomide results, um, early results were presented at ASH. It's a very effective drug. It works even uh, in patients who progress after lenalidomide, for example. So they are more potent, more efficacious, and they seem they have better side effect profile. Now, before they get approved for early lines, we have to go through the clinical trials and make sure they are tested against, you know, a standard of care and make sure their side effects profile get investigated in more details and, and make sure you know, they are safe and efficacious for patients. They are on track to get approved. Cell mods are oral drugs, and they're given in a very similar schedule to immune modulators. What is the mechanism of action of cell mods, and how do they work? They work through the same cerebellum that immune modulators uh, work through. So it's very similar mechanism of action, very similar schedule of administration, very similar. Uh, it's both are oral. They have a lot of similarity there. Ibertamide and CC92480 is that they have their effect on the tumor itself as well as on the cells of the immune microenvironment. And um, this year uh, at ASH, we're also presenting some of these effects in a large study of over 100 patients uh, where we looked at the bone marrow before and after treatment with one of these new cell mods, uh, ibertamide, and were able to show that you have a very strong activation of uh, both T cells and NK cells going on. And this is associated with, with deeper responses in patients that were very heavily pretreated. And so the bottom line is that these agents can play an important role as part of a, a combination regimen uh, early on in disease as well as in patients that are relapsed refractory. So there are uh, a couple of agents in this new class called cell mods, which is cerebron modulators. So cerebron is the target of the immunomodulatory agents, the imids, and that's the actual uh, area that they bind to. And they, they I mean, without getting too technical, they decrease a couple of these ubiquitinases that cause these proteins to be ubiquitinated and, and um, that's a signal for destruction. So the cerebron uh, down modulators um, are thought to be another way to target that with potentially less toxicity and, and hopefully it's a way to uh, overcome resistance to the immunomodulatory agents. Those are still in clinical trials though. They're all oral. They're sort of being used in sort of the same setting that you see the image, you know, in combination with some other agents and maintenance types of settings, things like that, but not, you know, as a single agent for induction therapy or anything like that. So the cell mods really are probably a, a subtype of an imid. Uh, you may have somebody else that comes and can give you more of the specific biochemical differences or how they work in the enzyme pathways. It works through the e, E3 ligase system within the cells, but so do the imids. So they both work through kind of a common pathway, but the cell mods have a little alternative pathway different from the imids. So they're not exactly the same, which is great because the, what's been studied so far with ibertamide CC220 shows that you can be refractory to even lenalidomide or pomalidomide and the response rate is still by as a single agent is still in the 30 some percent range. So it's possible to go from imid to cell mod and even though they're, they're like first cousins, and still get a good response. They're all pills taken on the same, the ibertamide, the CC220 is taken on the same schedule as lenalidomide and pomalidomide. 21 days on and seven days off is the current um, utilization in the clinical trials. I should point out that they seem to be tolerated a little bit better than lenalidomide and pomalidomide as far as off-target side effects. There's a little less problems with myelosuppression. There's a little bit less issues of rashes a little less GI toxicity that you get with the imids, with the cell mods. But again, you're talking about tens of thousands of people treated versus a few hundred people. So we need a little bit more time before we say, yes, one's really less toxic than the other. But the preliminary data indicates that they're tolerated better.
There are no unique side effects I'm aware of with the cell mods. What cell mods are being studied in myeloma? So there's two of them that have been studied. One of them has been studied quite well. Ibertamide CC220, probably going to get approved, I'm going to guess, within the next two years. The second one's the CC480. Uh, it's in clinical trials, not nearly as far along in development as CC220. That one's probably three or four years away from being approved.